Mine first. Uh, happy birthday to uh, Vivian in on. I like the British office. I am. Absolutely. You're you're in on both. Ten seconds. Yeah. HQ starting now, David. Is yours bad connection? No, mine's like really, really, really bad glitchy. Question one. It's time for question one. You guys ready? Are you set? Let's go. 200,000 tonight. Question one. According to reports, NBC is paying about 500 million to take what show back from Netflix? Alf, The Office, Sweet Valley High. Okay, I went with The Office. I guess think I you're going to know this one. Idea. If you love rewatching The it. Office, consider a friendly heads up. In the vaguely distant future, you'll no longer be able to do so on Netflix. 172,791 are moving on at a chance for that 200,000. Hey, we gave that away. Weren't you playing? Weren't you playing the pregame? The questions are only going to get harder, just like life. Don't get knocked out on a tough question without an extra life. You can use up to three lives on tonight's game. So get one right now. If you see it on a screen, don't be a dummy. All right. You can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on that little heart icon below. And I feel that when you do it. So don't forget that you cannot use an extra life on a prize question or after question 12. Here we go. Moving on. Question two. $200,000 is tonight's jackpot. Remember that. Who typically travels on the United States Air Force Two? President-elect, first lady, or first vice lady or president? Vice president? Okay. I was thinking the vice president, but I'll go Okay, with both you. this person and the president have planes dedicated to getting them around, but the Air Force call sign can apply to any aircraft that's not carrying the president, but does have the vice, vice president, second in command, 167,493, second in command, moving on to Q3. That's right. Who's the vice president? Okay. Who's it? Is it Drake? Is it P? Something with a P? Pence? Pence? That's right. All right. Question three. It's a fun, it's a fun voice to do. Question three. What is the correct spelling of this word? And the word is harassment. The word is harassment. Correct spelling. Okay. Which is it? Yeah, I know to some of you, a spelling quiz is the real harassment. Back before the little red lines magically appeared under the wrong spelling, people actually had to know that there was one R and two S's in harassment. 144,259 are not harassed. You're doing the right thing. You're being very nice by tapping the correct answer. I don't know how to spell that word. You guys are smart. Here we are. Moving on to question four. 200K. Remember. Here we go. Concentrate. What is a non Hypo hypotenuse side of a right triangle called leg straight hypertenus. These are tough words. Okay. Right triangles are the bedrock trigonometry is built on, and it's important to know the terminology even if you dabble a little. I obviously don't. So be advised that every right triangle has a hypotenuse and two leggies. That's right. 117,967. Tap the correct answer. Moving on to that 200K. Keep in mind, right, if you say, hey, look at the gams on that triangle, that's harassment. Q5. Here we go. What restaurant chain is in a scale of storm severity used by FEMA? Dairy Queen, A&W, or know. Waffle House? Hungry for the correct answer. You can tell how rough a storm has been by how it affects local businesses. FEMA keeps an eye on the usually 24-hour Waffle House chain. 118,661 are hungry for that 200K. That's right. That queue was a disaster for you. There's always an extra life. Remember, you can buy back in up to Q12. Moving on to Q6. Wendy Kaufman was most famous as what beverage spokesperson? Snap a lady, Pepsi girl, or lead Fontana? 
I have no idea. These All right, drink crazy. it up. This is kind of like how I got hired at HQ. Wendy was uh, actually, she was an company employee who chose to answer all the mail that came in from customers. And uh, that's what it takes to become a Snapple lady. 127, 636. Drinking up that correct answer. Moving on to Q7. Closer and closer to you know 200,000. All right. This one, right. Try a refreshing extra life if you got knocked out. That's right. Here we go. Q7. Which of these cable channels was not launched by Ted Turner's company? TBN, TCM, or TNT? I was, I was not launched but... by Mr. Ted Turner. Ted built a nice little empire of stations named after himself, but Trinity Broadcasting Network or TBN is a religious channel. 88,351. You got it right. You got it right. Moving on. All right. You don't need, there's no TV guide for that. You just pray, just, ah, oh, praying that uh, Sex in the City is on. I don't watch that. Here we go. If that was a rough one for you, you can buy back in with that extra life. Here we go. Q8. Which of these is the subtitle to a Superman film? The Quest for Peace, The Furry of Zod, A New Beginning. Oh, people are saying, hey, I want be a hero. To get this one. I was thinking After the uh, Christopher Reeve series scored two big hits, the creative juices ran dry, and the series fizzled out with that crummy uh, Richard Pryor one and Superman 4, the quest for peace. That's right. 54,867. This looks savage to me. A little savage, but... Look, if you got knocked out, you could buy back in right oh, now with an extra life because there's $200,000 at the tip yeah. of those phalanges. All right, it's question nine now. So remember, to get question nine right, you have the choice to take the money or keep moving forward to that $200,000 jackpot. Okay, take a deep breath. Are you ready? Good luck. Here we go. Question nine. Which song was neither the opening nor closing track on the album it was first released on? I Want It That Way, Immigrant Song, or Champagne Supernova? Here we go. Whew. All right, Immigrant Song kicked off Led Zeppelin 3. Champagne Supernova ended the story, Morning Glory. I Want It That Way was the lead single off Millennium. Who wants it that way? 20,109. You got it that way. All right. Here we go. You can cash out. All right. You can cash out. We're offering 13 cents to 20,109 players. Four questions until that prize. What are you going to do? You're going to take it now or stick around for a lot more than that $200,000. What did you guys decide? I'm level to nine, do. but it could be. 7,419 players chose to take the 13 cents. Congratulations. You just cashed out. Here we go. Question 10. Published in 1848, the Declaration of Sentiments was a document in favor of what? Abolition, prohibition, or women's rights? All right. It's a long time ago. 16 grievances were outlined in this document. It was then signed by 32 men, 68 women at the Seneca Falls Convention for women's rights. That's right. 8,948 Got it correct. That's right. Not a history buff. I'm hey, you can still use an extra life. Get back in this game. We're playing for $200,000. And we are now moving right along to question 11. Here we are. Which of these cities is not part of the Texas Triangle? El Paso, Arlington, or College Station? Not part. Okay. Is anybody from Texas? Huh? Tell me in the chat. The Texas Triangle includes the Dallas-Fort Worth-Arlington area, as well as College Station, Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. What was it in there? El Paso. 7,601 did not El Paso on tapping the correct answer for Q11. That's right. All right, Q12, your last chance to use an extra life. Here we go. Which U.S. president served with the oldest U.S. vice president ever elected? Harry S. Truman, Barack Obama, or Gerald Ford? Oldest. All right. The oldest 
vice president ever elected was Albin Barkley. Never heard of him. Who served with Harry S. Truman. That's right. 3,179. We elect you on a Q13. This looks a little savage. We lost more people than we gained. So I'm sorry you can't use an extra life. But hey, you can still buy one right now. And you can play tomorrow at another chance for winning big. Come back tomorrow. Moving on. Q13. Here we are. Yeah, All right, like, what name appears in what is now believed to be the first ever video game Easter egg? Warren, Ed, or Ron? Mm -hmm. All right, Guinness World Records lists Atari Starship One from 1977 as having the first video game Easter egg, not Adventureland. The egg relays the message, hi, Ron. Hello, Ron. Wow, look at those graphics. Look at those graphics. Wow, only 9.05 got that right. It's so savage. So terribly savage. I'm sorry to see over 4,000 of you go. You can buy back in for tomorrow, though. All right, here we go. So we have those. Are you taking the money here? Are you going to take the money? We're offering $2.22. 2 dollars two, two, two to 903 players. Are you going to take that and run? Or are you going to stick around for 200000 almost a quarter million dollars? What are you going to do? All right, let's see. 508 players chose to take 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Congratulations. All right, we got four questions. Until another prize. I need a quick sip. Here we go. I am sweating here. Question 14. Elvis Presley won Grammys for performances in the equivalent of which modern-day category? Rock, blues, or gospel? Where are my Prez heads here? Where are my Elvis heads? All right. The three competitive, Gra uh, competitive Grammy Awards Elvis Presley won were for performances in the gospel category. 112 of you are singing to the Lords. I call that's another savage. We lost a big chunk of you guys on that one. I'm sorry. We will pray for you. Okay. We will pray for you. I love a little Elvis. I want for the money. I do for the blues. Oh, come on. Let's play the match cue. He just mumbles. I love it. Question 15. In the Southern Cone region, which capital is the largest by city population? Monte Viriago, Buenos Aires, or Santiago? Okay, the population of Monte Viriago is about 1.3 million, and the population of Buenos Aires is about 2.9 million, but the population of Santiago is about 5.6 million. Only 28 are plowing on. Savage again. God, we are cutting you guys down quickly. All right. Keep in mind the population of your wallet region could be 200K. All right, here we are. We're narrowing it down. Question 16. Which part of the human spine has the smallest number of vertebrae? Thoracic, lumbar, or cervical? Straight my spine for this one. Here we are. The thoracic spine has 12 vertebrae and the uh, cervical has seven, but the lumbar only has five. Lumbar, who tapped it? 11. We lost 17. That's another savage. Man. Okay. Guys, wow. We are, we are down to 11 people fighting for 200,000. Okay. Question 17. Another chance to win some money. Let's focus. Question 17. The lead singer of the first Western pop act to visit China is responsible for which hit? Praying for Time, Blaze of Glory, Sexy Back. The first Western pop act to visit China was Wham, whose singer George Michael went on to sing Praying for Time. That's right. Only five got it. Five still in the game. We just lost six. Okay. Savage again. I'm calling it savage because we lost more that we're keeping. All right. Are you guys going to take the money or are you going to keep playing for that $200,000? And we are offering $600 to five players. That is a chunk of change. Are you going to take 600 and walk away? Are you going to stick around and trust that brain for $200,000? Four questions. Till the prize. Good Five job. players chose to take six hundred dollars. Woo! All right. Four questions until the prize. That's it. All right. 
Five winners. We got five winners. Congrats to all of the winners. Thank you for playing with me. I've been your host, Tyler Fish. Follow me on all the socials right here. Come back tomorrow. Trivia at 9 and words at 930. See y'all later. Have a great night. Goodbye.